The smart foam controller has most of the same functionality as a smart calves controller. We have a preset screen, which gives you six presets that can be configured. You can configure the color and the text on each preset, and the foam percentages and foam tanks in the background. The home button does the same thing it does on smart calves. Toggles between the preset screen and the operation screen. Press the menu button to go to the system menu. The system menu allows you to zero the total water, zero the total foam, use the simulated water flow mode, enter passwords using the calibration configuration button, see the maintenance minder, or prime the foam pump. We also have a chart to show you the capacity of the, the system and the foam prime. Prime simply runs the motor at 100% so that you can get the foam primed. The maintenance minder is very similar to the one in smart calves, just less items. We have a one month, a two month, and a 12 month service. Well, we have an, an indicator to let you know when that service is due. The same type of pie chart to give you a visual indication of when that service is due and then the I button next to each one to let you know what is required during this maintenance interval. If you need to set the date and time, just press down there and it pops up the screen to allow you to set the, the date and time. Once you hit the save button, it's going to repower the system. So operation is as simple as pressing a preset. It turns on the foam system with the percentage that the preset was programmed for. The operation page has the foam percentage, the water flow, the total foam used, total water used, and a bar graph to indicate how hard the foam pump is running. There's also a small round circle in the bar graph that tells you which foam is currently in the pump. small round indicator in the bar graph tells you what type of foam is currently in the foam pump. Currently it shows that we have foam type A in the foam pump. So if we go select a preset that requires foam tank B, it's turned off the foam system so we aren't mixing the A and the B type foams. Since the demo kit doesn't have an MST, MDT, or ADT selector switch for foam, in demo mode, I have a small indicator that allows you to switch tanks. So we're currently in tank A. The little indicator says tank B. That means if we press the button, we're going to be going to tank B. Now it says flush. If we press the indicator, the button, we're going to be going to a flush. So we can go over to flush now and press the power button, and it'll flush the system. Once the flush is complete, the time has run out, the A indicator will change to a CLR indicator for clear. A powerful feature of the smart foam controller is the ability to provide tutorials. I'm going to show that by going to the calibration screen, entering the password 6679, and that's going to take us to the water flow calibration. We use a two point water flow calibration for accuracy. So we do a high flow calibration and a low flow calibration. The operator can use any two points that they want for that. If you press the I button, it's going to pop up the tutorial. And this shows you the walkthrough for the two point water flow calibration. It's going to tell you what all the buttons mean, what all the displays mean, and the order of operation to complete a water flow calibration. You can stop the tutorial anytime by pressing the X button. Another powerful feature is the ability for us to put in the lookup chart for the nozzle size versus pressure to determine water flow. If you press the chart button in the middle, it's going to take us to the calculator. You can select the smoothbore nozzle size, the pressure that you're seeing on the, the pitot gauge, and it's going to calculate the water flow. So when you press the return button, 
it's going to tell you where would you like to put that number. Just select the gauge that you want to put it in and it's going to populate it. Just like in smart calves, smart foam also data logs every bit of the system operation. Although it's smaller, so it only logs 200 hours of second by second data that's time stamped. You can go to the data log screen by going to the menu, calibration, configuration, and entering the password 3564. This shows you the size of the data logger. You plug in a USB stick into the connector on the back of the display and press the USB icon and it will download the data to the stick. The data is a CSV file and you can view that file in Excel. Another powerful feature of the smart foam controller is the ability to change the look and feel of the display. I had a chief once tell me that smart foam looked really neat but he's already got 30 trucks in the field and he doesn't want to have to retrain his personnel on how to use this over the old foam logics he was using. Well, it's not a problem. I'm going to go to the calibration screen. I'm going to put in 1849 for the user menu. And here, where you can select language, unit of measure, the color of the A and the B foam, I'm going to change the display format to foam logics. Now on the main screen, it looks like the old foam logics display. The buttons all work the same way they used to work. Increase, decrease, the I button toggles between the different displays. But now you get all the benefits of smart foam. You get the plain text warnings. You can use the presets. You've got the menu, the calibration, the tutorials, but you still have the look and feel of the old foam logic system. Smart foam controller is really flexible. You can use two separate pumps with the smart foam controller. You can take two pumps, combine them together to create more GPM flow. For instance, take two of our 6.5 pumps, combine them together, and create a 13 GPM foam system. You can do that in the menu. 2, 3, 1, 4 for the OEM menu. And you can select the foam system control. Currently I have single pump, but you can select a dual pump where it's two pumps acting as a single big pump. For instance, the two 6.5s being 13 GPM. Or you can take two separate pumps and they act as two separate systems. I'm going to select the dual pump 2, save it. I'm going to go back to the menu and then back to system operation and now you'll see that we have a system 1 and a system 2 display. We can control two pumps individually with the same control head. The Achilles heel of any foam system is when its foam sensor has malfunctioned. At that point it doesn't know how much foam it's injecting into the water stream so typically it stops functioning. What we've done in smart foam, we've added an open loop control mode. So typically the smart foam operates in a very accurate closed loop mode where it reads the foam flow and adjusts the pump speed to a desired flow rate. If the sensor malfunctioned, the system would issue a warning and then stop operating. But with our new open loop mode, when the smart foam controller detects a malfunction of the foam flow sensor, it utilizes an engineered table of motor speed versus tested foam flow so that the system continue to operate. A blue informational ribbon will simply say check foam system soon. But the system will continue to operate dynamically adjusting the motor speed based on the water flow and the desired foam flow.